Welcome to our Maui series, where we explore the beautiful island of Maui, Hawaii, and all that it has to offer. From stunning beaches and breathtaking views to delicious local wow. cuisine and exciting adventures, join us as we take you on a journey through the heart of Maui. If you're new around here, we're Sammy and Tommy, and we just spent the last five months having so many fun adventures traveling through <laughs> Colombia and Ecuador. We got invited to spend some time with Tommy's parents in Hawaii, so of course we jumped at the opportunity. Reunited and it feels so good. We flew here from Quito, Ecuador, and we've been crashing on the pullout couch. We've been spending lots of time together <laughs> playing cards, pickleball, shuffleboard, and of course, hanging out at the beach. In today's video, we're taking you on the road to Hana, which is one of the most scenic drives in the world. This winding road takes us through lush tropical forests, past cascading waterfalls, and along rugged coastline. So buckle up, it's gonna be a fun ride. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So everything we've read about this road trip is more about the journey than the destination. So you don't have to stop at every turn off or stop. Just enjoy it. Do your research beforehand so you know exactly where you want to go. Look how beautiful this view is. Officially, the road to Hana starts in the little town of Paella and ends past the town of Hana at Ohio Gulch. We started super early this morning and kind of rushed through the first part of the drive because we have a reservation at Black Sand Beach, which we can tell you guys more about that later. Officially, we're here on the k and I Peninsula, which is a beautiful little peninsula with like lava rock. And yeah, we've just been taking in the views. What a cool spot, right? Yeah, this is so nice. I love it. I love how the waves just like crash over the lava rock. Great first stop. So we just arrived to Aunt Sandy's. It is known famously here for its banana bread. $8 a loaf. It was featured on the Gordon Ramsay cooking show, I believe as well. Opens at 8.30 and they're open until they run out of bread. Hopefully they open in just a couple minutes so we can try this famous banana bread. Good morning. Banana bread, please. It smells delicious, doesn't it? It does smell really good in there. Have a great Thank day. You. Thank you. Ooh, it's hot. Really nice and hot. Okay, we're trying the Auntie Sandy's famous banana bread. We had to take it to go because we're kind of on a time crunch. All right, let's give this uh, famous banana bread a try. Mm. Okay. It's light, still moist and warm. I like that part. Tastes like homemade. Is it as good as yours? Is it as good as the one we make at home? I'm not sure. so sure it is, but <laughs> out on the road, early in the morning, and you're hungry, it hits the spot. Best we've ever had? Tom's banana bread tastes better than this. So this road is 64 miles, 620 turns, and over 59 bridges. It's also known as Divorce Highway, so I'm very thankful that I'm not driving today. <laughs> so thank you, Dad, for driving us today. We appreciate it. So we got this app called the, it's kind of like a play on words. It's like GPS Gypsy guide app it tells you all the stops along the road to Hana it gives you lots of fun information and kind of like the history along the route as well it's a really good app unfortunately it does cost ten dollars but I feel like it's worth it matches up with your car GPS so he literally knows where you're at like How every are we enjoying our driving experience second of your drive Maybe I should just ask the driver that what do you think of the road 
The road to Hana was completed for vehicle traffic in 1926. Before that... So, like that. He gives you... He checks in with you. gives you lots of little tidbits, lots of information. So, I feel like for $10, it was a really good investment for the road trip. Our friends Alex and Lindsay told us about this guide. So, thanks, guys. Thank you. All right. Just made it just in time for a reservation. It is 9.30, and our reservation ends at 10. So, this will be a quick trip to the Black Sand Beach. Let's check it out. lava rock formed from when the lava came out of the volcano, came down the side of the mountain and hit the ocean and formed this volcanic sand. It's very, so unique. It's very unique. It is smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it doesn't really matter because there's a, there, you make a reservation time, so it's never going to get busier than it is during that time. I do think it looks smaller just because of the high tide, though. We're here very early, and the tide is up very high. I did forget to mention, it does cost $5 a person to make the reservation, plus a $10 parking fee on top of that. Um, so our group paid 30 bucks, which I don't think is bad. This has been our favorite stop so far. So I would definitely say, definitely make the reservation and do it. So there's a small hike here too you can take. You head left facing the ocean from the beach. How far did you say it was? 1.7 miles or 1.2 miles, I forget. such a magical place. I love the contrast of the dark black rocks. The greenery here looks unreal. Such a beautiful spot. So glad we came, right? I know. I'm so glad we made a reservation. You guys, we were so close to just like bailing and not doing it. Definitely make the reservation and come to Black Sand Beach and do the hike. What if we Are you coming? Does it keep going? Yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, this is cool. That was really cool, right? Yeah. The place is so amazing. From the arc to the little caves, the black sand. Beautiful spot. Now me and mom have been craving a coffee for the last few hours, but we've been in such a rush to make our reservation, which we did. Now let's hope we get lucky and find a coffee stop. How are we doing? Good, and yourself? Good, thanks. Good. Hello. What do you recommend? All right, did you get your coffee fix, you addict? I got it yet. I know, we're still waiting. <laughs> we found a good spot though. Yeah, we did. My Tita's Cafe for some coconut iced coffees and macadamia nut iced co coffees. And she gave us some great recommendations of food trucks to eat at nearby. We're going to go try to go to the OG place, right? Yeah. The original food truck here in Maui. Yeah. Salud, you guys. Drink a bunch of Salud. And, um, Look, Jackie's double fisting. She can't help herself. <laughs> yeah. 
Barbecue pork, please, and the grilled mahi mahi. A name that I can't call when it's done. Tom. Oh yeah, you look like Tom. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh great. Well, Where Tom from? <laughs> Tom is from okay. Washington State. Uh, alrighty, I'm from my mom and dad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh good. So we just arrived to Brada Hut, which is the OG food truck here. They have like barbecue and mahi mahi, and we got one of each, and we're just all four gonna share them before our hike. I'm going for the grilled mahi mahi, I think it is. It smells delicious. Mm hmm. It is really, really good. A thick, creamy sauce has a ton of vegetables on top. It serves with a macaroni salad and some rice. Delicious. How's the pork, you guess? Pork is wonderful. It's nice and flavorful, but it's also very tender. It's really good. Sweet. It's got a sweet barbecue glaze on it, which just jumps out at you. Well, we did pretty good. All right, guys, what's your favorite? I don't have a favorite. I really like the way we did it. We had half some fish and some barbecue pork. Mm, the barbecue pork wins for me. I, I'm with you, me too. I like them both, but I love the veggies on top of the mahi-mahi, and I love the sauce that was on the pork when I like went down into the rice and made the rice like all sticky and yummy with the pork sauce. Both really, really good. Of course, Amy's favorite was the rice. <laughs> oh, delicious one for We've made a quick stop at Hamoa Beach. So this beach is known to be the best body surfing beach here on this side of the island. But there's a bunch of surfers out here too. They're getting some great rides, very professional. What a great little spot. by those waterfalls, right? A lot of them have spots where you can pull off the side of the road and get out of your car, but really if you just drive slow, you can see the waterfalls from your car, which is really nice if, you know, there's no parking or something like that. Perfect. You do have to buy a park pass to come in to do the Ohio pools and these hikes around here. The park pass is $30 for the annual pass, I believe, but we got it for $20 because we have our senior parents with us and they got the senior park pass. So that was a bonus. Top tip, bring your parents with you. See how it says you are here? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Then we're gonna go up here. Large banyan tree. Bamboo Check forest. Out. Bamboo forest. Okay. And all the way to Wainuku Falls. Where's the, the highlight? First one? Two miles. Start off with we're going to do a short half a mile loop that has the Ohio pools before we get on the PPY trail to do the full two mile stretch. So let's go to the Ohio pools. Those big leaves are used to weave canoe sails. And the fruit is used as brushes to dye paint and perfume. Oh, that's really cool. So surrounding these pools are over 700 different archaeological sites. So Ohio in Hawaiian means something special and you can definitely see why. The coastline is so dramatic and so beautiful, although there's no swimming allowed, but it's a very beautiful hike. Alright, 
What'd you learn? EY Micah Micah O means the waterfall that has no friends <laughs> because of the danger of the rocks falling as the water pushes the earth to the ground. It's a pretty awesome name, actually. It is. Wow. Look at that. This thing is massive. I thought there was a wild animal up here. All right, let's go. <laughs> and it's so cool with all these like roots coming down, forming like this one giant massive trunk. Look how cool this is. The trunks just trunk down from other branches. It's pretty unique, really. We just made it across that shaky bridge into the bamboo forest. Everything's like a light shade of green. I like it. blowing all the bamboo trees and they're like beating against each other. It's such a cool sound. Wow, that was an awesome surprise. I did not expect to see any wildlife on this trail. And a huge mama boar with her couple little ones. She got so close to us, I could almost pet her. I know they're dangerous though. Just keep your distance. How cool is that? might be the tallest waterfall I've ever seen. Have you seen anything taller? Not to my memory, huh? Wow. wow. Alright, finally made it. Felt a little longer than two hours, but so worth it. It was a little muddy, so it's a little challenging to bring some hikers, but the bamboo forest, the banyan tree, what an awesome hike. Thanks for watching you guys. Hope you enjoyed our road to Hana. If you're here in Maui, don't miss it. See you guys in the next one. Top tip for the Hana Road you give to people. I think my top tip would be leave as early as possible and whenever you decide what time you're gonna leave, leave 30 minutes before that. That would be my top tip. Mom? My top tip is to remember to wear some really good shoes because there's some very cool heights, but it's it's in Hana and it could get very muddy and wet. So um, enjoy your hikes, but have some good shoes. That was a really good tip, Jackie. Yeah. My top tip would be to bring celebratory beers. Not for the driver, of course, but for the rest of us. I could go for a cold beer, a cooler, and a cold beer right now. My top tip would be to plan out ahead of time the stops you want to make because it's a long trip. You're not going to be able to see everything and do the things you want to do. So pick out your top choices and make sure you hit those. Definitely true. Maybe top four or five. Yeah. Is this a new segment called Flanagan Family Tips? Travel yeah? tips. Yeah, Flanagan Family Travel Tips. See you in the next one for more. <laughs>